let's now head to Ashanti region. Correspondent Nanai al Jima has been speaking to some teachers and students there. So in all schools, according to the head teachers, um, they've received all supplies to help ensure that the protocols are well adhered to. Um, I'm currently in Opokuari school and here the dormitories and also classrooms have been decongested to be able to accommodate the students who are coming in. I have with me here the, the head teacher of the school, Reverend Father Stephen Osuseche, who will be updating us on what they've been able to do so far in regards to COVID-19 protocols. Um, as you know, students are coming. They started coming around the 7 a.m. this morning, and uh, we were ready by 6 o'clock to receive them. We had received all the necessary PPEs yesterday. So, uh, around 6 o'clock, 6 p.m., we had everything. We spent time to um, put them together. And then this morning, teachers started coming first. Around six teachers were here, and then we gave them the PPEs, nose masks, and the hand sanitizer. We have put all the vertical backers in vantage points. And then when students started coming, we checked their, their temperature. And then you, we have had some stands around the school. So when you check temperature, you're OK. You go to where your housemaster is. And then you register. And then when you register, it's there that you'll be giving your, your nose max and your, and your hand sanitizer. In, in, in the dormitory, you have distanced the beds and then uh, your number. Ubuka school use numbers, not names. So you put your number on your bed. That's where you're going to sleep. So when you do that tomorrow morning, you'll come back to the classroom and then do the same. You distance that. Every classroom, some big classrooms have 30 students and the smaller ones have 25. We decided not to go beyond 30. So we put them in 30 and 25 and then you will put your number on your seat, your desk. That's where you will sit for classes and for prep. That's all right. Thank you very much. So we also have the Kumasi Metropolitan um, M, uh, Chief Executive, who is also touring some of the schools in the Ashanti region. And we'd want to know um, what he has observed so far. Um, well, first of all, you see, I have my director, I have my Metro Director of Education with me. Even before I came here, an inspectric team has already moved in and inspected everything. So that is why when I came, the first thing I went to interact with was the inspectric team. So this is the time that the school inspectory team are going to be taxed, to be working more than they used to be. But now, nowadays, they will not be sitting in their various offices. Always they have to be moving out, going out, and whatever the challenges is, then they will report to us. Because we have two committees that are in place. We have the health committee that is already in place, and we have the emergency health committee, also uh, emergency public health committee also in place already. So all the, these two committees are there working. So all why we need is the inspectorate team to just report to us, then we, we move in. So did you go to school? Or if you are a parent, did your children go to school? Let me connect with my colleague Nanayal Jima for more of what he found on the ground. Hello, Nanayal. Now, gen generally, what has the response been? Today being the first day, uh, apart from what you found on the ground, generally, what has the response been? So moving from um, school to school in the Ashanti region, um, parents, some parents are willingly bringing their children to school, but the numbers are not as huge as you expect when school reopens, especially when um, um, students or wards have been home for more than two months, even though um, their academic um, calendar is not yet ended. Um, parents are reluctant to bring their wards to school. Some of the wards or some of the students are excited that they are back in school, especially the final year students, because they've been looking forward to this day for very long. And some I spoke to at um, the Sakafia Senior High School, Kumasi Academy Senior High School, and also um, Opokwari School, all tell me they are looking forward to other colleagues joining them for classes to start. And some of them are excited about the protocols that have been put in place to ensure that, um, to, to check the spread of COVID-19.
The PPE uh, is a bit of a concern for a lot of the parents. They've raised concerns about p testing even for the students and the teachers. Is there any development on the provision of PPE for the, uh, these teachers and students? So at Opokwari School, for instance, I saw students being handed um, PPEs, that's the locally manufactured ones, to pair students. And also um, some were given, or all of them that I saw were given hand sanitizers. And um, I, so when you walk in, your temperature is checked, you check for your name on a board. And um, for the new room you've been allocated to, because uh, th there have been changes in the structure uh, now. And um, some of them have been given new, uh, have been assigned new rooms and also new classrooms, even though um, you continue with what you, you were learning before there was a break. So you have to check all these things. You walk to another table where you are given a PPE, that's the nose mask too, and also a hand sanitizer before you are shown your new room and the beds you are allocated to. So um, PPEs are not much of a challenge in the schools that I visited. According to um, the headmasters that I spoke to, they've received all items that government promised to give them. Nanayal, thank you very much for that update. Nanayal Jima there, who joined me all the way from the Ashanti region, he has done a report, gone to a number of schools there.